in. Lord have mercy, the sun is out. I'm going to have to wear my sunglasses when I get to the office inside because my future is so bright. Had a long night last night saving lives via the partner meeting in the Tuck World headquarters, but it was a really good time. Where do you align is what I wanted to discuss and quip about very quickly this morning. When I show up at my office in about eight minutes, there's going to be a young man who is going to be joining me this morning to kind of shadow and walk around and see if what I do is something that he might be interested in as a career. This alignment that he has chosen to, to have with our company is, is really neat. Uh, this young man is about 20 years old. He was studying engineering at our famed Virginia Polytechnic Institute and decided, you know, it just it's, it's, not, it's not really doing it for me. I don't know what it is. I like the concepts of mechanics. I like the concept of, you know, all the fun stuff that he was taking, all his classes and stuff. But then he, uh, then he decided he just wanted, he wanted to do something more. He wanted to, to help people express potential um, in ways that mechanics and mechanical engineering was not going to do. So he dropped out of the program. Um, and started looking around. Um, I don't know how to do that. I'm driving, I'm stopping the tech stuff. Sorry about you. Anyway, <clears throat> he called and asked if he could shadow a couple of our doctors. And this is the fourth or fifth time he's come to shadow me. So um, I like the way he's aligning himself with, with forward thinking chiropractors that, that really want to help people. Um, and do the right thing, be advocates for their patients, but where do you align? Um, one of those questions has come up for me recently as my alma mater has split from its alumni historically. Um, most colleges and most graduate programs get all of their students from their alumni. You know, hey, I graduated from so-and-so, go them. You should go there and be one of us. Um, but my chiropractic alma mater has split from the, the alumni, so it's a little little upsetting, but it, it's part of it, I guess. So, I align myself with another school. It has a very strong alumni association. Um, I've been sitting in on their monthly calls for SRE, student recruiting events, um, because in order for us to proliferate as a, as a profession, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to fill the, fill the pipeline, so to speak, with young, passionate doctors who want to advocate for their patients and turn the power on. So when you get the opportunity today to check how you are aligned with certain things in your life, I hope you think through that. What is the ultimate goal that you want um, if we want to continue this wonderful profession of chiropractic and proliferate its philosophy? We need somebody to pick up the flag as we age and, and carry it forward into the future. So to do that, I've chosen to align myself with the school that has the best protocols in place to funnel students into their system. This is Periscope Cairo, your chiropractic liaison from philosophy, or excuse me, from application to academic. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I apologize profusely for Stop Tech, Stop Rex. Good stuff. Don't have a uh, YouTube channel. I am at a, at a stop sign now. Thank you, Dr. AJ. Beautiful message. Um, so, yeah, you guys join me Friday, 1230 Eastern Standard. I'm going to be um, live casting from the road Friday. My lovely bride and I are going to be headed east, dip ourselves in the salt water, and hope the sharks don't eat us. So, join us 1230 Eastern Time for Periscope Cairo.